So when you want to insert an image into your document, first get your cursor or insertion point uh, in where you want it to be. So down at the end of my writing like so, I'm going to go ahead and press enter a couple of times. Uh, you know what, just one time, that way my image will be right underneath my writing. We're going to go to uh, either the insert image button on the toolbar or insert image. Click on that. We'll get a dialog box like this. Our choices are upload, URL, Google image search, or Picasso web, web albums. Now upload is for putting an image from your computer to the internet. Maybe you took it with a webcam or another digital camera. URL, it means there's an an image already on the internet. You can put the web address right there, the URL, and it will find it and get it into your document. Google Image Search allows you to search right in here inside your document. It's very handy if you're kind of a lone user and you're doing this on your own. However, I've found that for classroom full, classrooms full of children, doing this at the same time doesn't work very well. You end up um, having a lot of loading time and not much um, results happening. And Picasso web albums are for folks that actually use, um, store their photos online using Picasso web albums. That's a Google product. We're going to be using URL today. Now with the URL, we need to have a web address for, a, for an image. So now we're going to open up another window, or actually another tab. We use a new tab right here. And so we're going to click on that new tab. And now notice we've got our tab with our armadillos document and our new tab. In the new tab, we're going to use the Google search field, the Google search field right here. And we're going to click on that Google search field. And now we're going to um, type in the desired uh, search term, armadillo in this case. And press enter. And here are our um, Google search results. Now we're going to filter by images and make sure that you have uh, a plan in mind for how to deal with inappropriate images. I recommend uh, minimizing the window. Minimize. And uh, you can also use the button down here to minimize your window, uh, letting your teacher know that you're and getting inappropriate images that they need to come take a look and uh, advise you on how to best deal with them. Now when we filter for images here we're going to go from 6,200,000 results down to uh, 1.5 million results and here are our different uh, little um, Google image results. Here's kind of an interesting one look showing different uh, stages of rolling up for an armadillo. Click on that thumbnail there and noticing it, notice it's opening up in a Google Images frame. It's not directly to the uh, link, not directly to the website because we want to find this link right here, the link to the full-size image. Click on full-size image. Now this takes us to the actual web address of the image itself. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is uh, click on that and copy it. Wait, I did a right click there. Right click, copy. Now, using my tabs, remember our tabs here? We're going to click on the other tab to take us back to our document. And here's where we can paste our URL, the web address. Paste it right there. Wait for a couple seconds while it loads the uh, preview and then click select. In a few more seconds it should have inserted that image into your document and now you have some choices for um, clicking on the image and resizing it and you can also um, choose how you'd like to um, have it be in your document. Um, so those are the steps for inserting a in, uh, document but we haven't, we're not finished yet because we need we need to give credit because uh, 
Well, that last time I checked, I had not um, created an image like this and posted it online for others to use, but someone did. So I'm going to click right next to the image here. And so we've got our insertion point. I'm going to press enter to take me to the line underneath it. And then I'm going to type in image uh, credit colon and then type in the words retrieved on March 14th, 2011 from and then now I'm going to paste the URL again, that URL that I had um, from before and there's that same URL. And so now not only have I put in an image but I'm giving credit where credit is due and not uh, having copyright infringement. But, but this is now fair use for educational material um, within the classroom. Um, the way I actually set this particular document up is I um, put the image references at the very bottom because I have multiple images embedded in my uh, text. So my image references are actually down here. Some of those I could find the um, author, the actual photographer, so I added that information as well. Okay, that's how you insert an image into a Google document.